Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called Arithmetic Progression. Hello friends, may I request you to please click on the subscribe button below this video. The given question is which term of the arithmetic progression 8, 14, 20, 26 will be 72 more than its 41st term. Guys, this is what being given in the question. This question is one of the most important question because this type of question came in one of the CBSE board examination in the year 2006. So let us see how we are moving ahead and what we are doing in order to find out the uh, solution for this. The question asked us to find out which term of the arithmetic progression will be 72 more than its 41st term. Now guys, here in this type of question, we are first, we are going to first of all find out 41st term. Then we will add 72 and we will, uh, uh, you will see just once we get the um, 41st term, then we need to add to the uh, 41st term 72 and we need to find out the term, that particular term, which term it belongs to. Now guys, I have created a table with the given uh, arithmetic progression and my table says that the first term is 8 because as per the question they have given the first term is um, 8 second term is uh, sec second term is 40 uh, second term is uh, 14 first term is 8 second term is 14 third term is 20 fourth term is 26 and 41st term guys we do not know this 41st term we are going to find out this 41st term so first of all we are going to find out the value for this 41st term now guys, we very well know the formula for finding uh, the missing uh, values for uh, this particular arithmetic progression. The most important formula is like a n is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 into d. Now guys, we are going to use this formula and we are going to find out the missing difference or the missing value we are going to find out. Now, in, before moving ahead, we require d. Because we know a1, we know n, n is 41, a1 is 8, but we do not know d. So let us find out the d. d here is common difference. So d is equal to the difference between the consecutive two terms and taking from the last. So I can take d is equal to a2 minus a1. You can even consider d as a3 minus a2 or a4 minus a3. So just I am taking d is equal to a2 minus a1. Whatever the way we take we will get the same answer for d so a2 a2 is 14 minus 8 a1 is 8 so 14 minus 8 is equal to 6 so what we got we got the d value as 6 now putting the d value in the in the equation formula i can write a1 a n is equal to a n because we are going to find out a n a n is equal to uh, or simply instead of a n I can directly write a 41 because here the value of a n a n is 41 a 41 is equal to a 1 a 1 is 8 plus n minus 1 here n value is 41 minus 1 into 6 or I can write a 41 is equal to 8 plus 41 minus 1 is 40 into 6 or I can write a 41 is equal to or I can write a 41 is equal to 8 plus 240 6 4 are 24 and that means 240 or we can say that a 41 is equal to 248 so guys we got the value for a 1 a 41 is 248 now we will uh, now we will put this value of um, a 41 uh, in the question and we will try to find out what is being asked. So now again I am going to uh, read, read the question once more. So uh, the things will be more clear. Now just keep in mind that we got a 41 is 248. Now as per the question, what is, what is the question is saying? The question is saying that which term of the arithmetic progression 8, 14, 20, 26 will be 72 more than its 41st term. So guys let us look here so i have again i have again considered one arithmetic again i have considered one more table here so in this table what i have considered what i have taken you could see that i have considered whatever is being given first term is 8 they have given second term is 14 they have given uh, third term is 20 they have given fourth term is 26 they have given now the only thing that i found out is 
a forty first term that we found out in a verb, which is two forty eight. Now the question wants to uh, is asking us to find out which term it will be if we add seventy two to its forty first term. That means if I add two forty eight plus seventy two, we will get three twenty, and this is which term this this particularly this value of n is what if we add seventy two. Now we are going to find out that one. So guys, again. We are going to utilize the most important formula that we know. A one is a n is equal to a one plus n minus one into d. Here the value of n we do not know. So let us put whatever the things we know. We we know the value of d h six. We we found out the value of d h six because if you subtract third term like a three minus a two, twenty minus fourteen, we will get six, or even fourteen minus eight, we will get six. So I can write. A n is equal to a one that is eight plus n minus one into d. D value is six. Or I can write what I can write. Just I will solve this equation. Or I can write a n. So instead of a n, we know the value of a n is three twenty. If you look into the table here, the value of a n is three twenty. So I am just replacing the value of a n with three twenty. Three twenty is equal to eight plus Six n minus six, or three twenty is equal to eight minus six is two, two plus six n. So we got three twenty is equal to two plus six n. Or, or I can write, or just I will uh, write like this: two plus six n is equal to three twenty. If I write like this, also nothing is going to be wrong. Or Or I can write taking two as a common out. I can write two ones are two, two threes are six. One plus three n is equal to three twenty. Or I can say one plus three n is equal to three twenty, three twenty upon two. Or I can write one plus three n is equal to one sixty. Or I can write one, or I can write three n. Three n is equal to one sixty minus one. Or I can write what I can write. Or I can write n is equal to one sixty. Or or instead I can write. Or instead I can write three n is equal to one fifty nine. Now. Let us divide this three uh, with this one fifty nine, or I can write n is equal to one fifty nine upon three, or n is equal to three five zero fifteen three three zero nine. So guys, what we got? We got the value of n as fifty three. So that's that is our answer, guys. Because as per the question, it asks us which term. Which term of the arithmetic progression? So we can say that the fifty-third term, the fifty-third term of this arithmetic progression, the fifty-third term of this AP will be seventy-two more than its forty-first term. Hope, guys, you understood this. Process of the steps that I took to find out the value of n. I just it is taking some time for me because I am explaining you and I am going. I am also moving very slow so that you people can understand. But once you people start work out working out this thing, it will take hardly five or ten minutes, not more than that. Guys, I hope you understood this. But still, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me in the comment section of this video. Definitely, I will get back to you once I see your comments. Guys, if you really like my videos, please subscribe. If you really like my videos I would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know this will motivate me to create similar videos in the future thank you bye